Hi everybody, it's Shannon Siona back with another video. How is everybody doing? I hope everybody is doing well. I am doing good, thank you for asking. If you're wondering why my face is made up, it's because I had a photo shoot today, so be on the lookout for that. But actually today I am here to talk to y'all about <laughs> toothbrushes, yes. As you know, I am environmentally friendly. I'm an environmental activist. I try to find as many ways as I can to help the environment, even if it's a small effort. I recently found two companies that will take your old toothbrushes and recycle them into new materials, which is great because obviously everybody uses toothbrushes. It's part of everyone's hygiene. I think it's important to know that there are other alternatives instead of just throwing them into the trash. So I have two different businesses they're both online the first one is called preserve the whole title is toothbrush take back preserve the website is www.preserve.eco i'll put that down below as well this website is strictly for toothbrushes the other website that i'm going to tell you about next takes toothbrushes floss containers toothpaste containers all that good stuff so for preserve these toothbrushes will be made into new products I have a paper here so I can look. Every six toothbrushes returned, you will get a $6 coupon to use on the website. The Preserve website does create their own materials, uh, not just toothbrushes. They have like household products. Let me see here. Oral Care, they do their own Preserve Ocean Plastic Initiative, as well as shaving products, food storage, tabletop tools, compostables, uh, like uh, trash bags or recycling bags. Um, kitchen tools like utensils, uh, travel things and water bottles, all these things that are like made from recycled materials that you could use on your day-to-day -day life. Every six toothbrushes returned, you get a $6 coupon to use on the website. Due to COVID, they are asking that whenever you make your package, whenever it's ready to ship, um, to wait seven days before you ship it. Just, you know, I mean, you could really just low key just spray disinfectant all over it if you wanted to so there's four steps to this your first step would be to create and print the tracking label on on the website so here um it'll look something like this you'll just fill it out and then it'll automatically put it into a printing tracking label um that you can put right onto the package uh you just tape it on there after you do that you would prepare your shipment like the um your return address making sure your return address is visible like if you're going to do tracking at usps make sure that you have that visible as well you might also want to get a receipt just so that you can make sure that everything went smoothly if they don't get your package or something happens you have proof and then after that is step three is postage and shipping i personally use usps if you are in the states in america usps is a very universal type of of packaging and shipments um if that makes any sense so instead of like uh on here it says that you can like six toothbrushes are usually under four ounces depending on the package you put it in and that could be about three dollars um in postage but if you have more than that um then the price obviously will go up personally i don't even try to calculate that i literally just put it in a recycled recycled box that uh, that came in from like amazon or something take it to usps they'll weigh it for me and then I, i've never spent more than six bucks on postage and that was for like a huge shipment so when i get my p.o box going if y'all don't feel like doing this whole process you're more than welcome to send them to me i will send them out for you um i'm very uh passionate about this project i'm willing to do that for you and then after you got your shipment ready to go and you take it to usps they will see they will track it and they will send you a six dollar coupon as soon as they receive your package due to covid due to the storm in texas i don't know if y'all where y'all live but like i live in texas mississippi i know is really going through it too it might take a little bit longer for them to get back to you but that's another reason why you should have that receipt handy at all times for anything you do get your receipt that is the life advice i could give you receipts for everything it doesn't matter who it is it doesn't matter what it's for nobody's gonna have your back like you so make sure you have um proof okay okay so the second website is much more common to us it's crest and oral b the website is www.recycling.oralb.com and their program is called brush rinse repeat now like i said this 
website, it, both are online, um, but this website actually does not just toothbrushes. They do all the oral products, like I said, floss, old toothpaste bins, any, anything that has to do with your mouth, they will take. Y'all, my buns are just really bunning today. So yes, they collect literally anything and you can put them in any type of box, like I said, recycled boxes. If you shop on Amazon a lot, Shein, Fashion Nova, Okay, um, use, reuse those bags, people. Reuse those uh, boxes. Uh, all you have to do is freaking Sharpie out whatever the old address was. Some serious, like just scratch it out with the Sharpie. Pop the new label on it, baby. We are reusing this year, okay? Reduce, reuse, recycle, okay? So their, their uh, steps are pretty much the same as the other one, except for this website, you don't get a coupon. So it's really your choice. And like I said, once I get my PO box, ready to go if y'all are too lazy and y'all just want to send them to me please send them to me i will do them for you okay there's also a company side note that takes old mascara brushes i can do another little snippet video on that uh, maybe i'll just add it to the end of this video we'll see let me not get ahead of myself so after you collect all your materials you'll do the same thing the label is on the site here so you'll just fill out the information it'll make the label for you all you have to do is print it put it on top of the sharpie out address that you got from the other box and then just go to your usps i honestly that's the easiest way to go instead of trying to find like those little usps those blue bins or anything like that you i mean if you want to take the time to like count out the the price of the postage and how many stamps you're gonna need honestly if you have the stamps just go to usps ask them how many you need to put on there uh it'll save you trouble like just let them tell you instead of trying to assume and figure it out on your own i mean really I tend to look right here even though the camera is right there. I'm on my phone, you guys. Somebody buy me a camera. Okay, so I could like see myself. Um my birthday is January 1st. So just just keep that in mind. But anyways, after you go to USPS for the posted and you send it off, that's that on that. It's really that simple. Let me let me get my life right and let me find out the information about the mascara ones. I'll be right back. Mm-hmm. Well, after doing more research, unfortunately, the mascara wand collection is paused at the moment because of Corona, but I still wanna tell you about it. So it's called Wands for Wildlife. It is kind of a add-on from Appalachian Wild. Um, it's www.wandsforwildlife.org. They are a volunteer run nonprofit organization inspiring people to help wildlife and environment through repurposing discarded mascara wands. The wands help remove fly eggs, larva, oil, and other bacteria from wild animals, fur, and feathers. I have actually personally sent them some of my discarded mascara wands. I know I have a lot of makeup artist followers and personal friends who use like the disposable little black ones that you see at Ulta or Sephora. They take those too. All you have to do, you know, if there's mascara residue on it, just put it in a little bit of Dawn soap scrub a little you know scrub the mascara off and you're good to go it would be the same process printing the label online uh, preparing the package and same thing i would just take it to usps and let them weigh it out and tell you how many stamps you need if you have them in hand just take them with you and same thing for the wands once i get my p.o box set up uh, if you don't feel like going through that entire process i am more than happy for y'all to just send them in whatever to me and then i will send them out there is one last thing that i wanted to talk about that i see a lot especially in texas and i just feel like because people don't have a lot of information they they continue to do things the same way so i have a really big issue with balloon releasing now don't don't come at me in the comments. I know that it's a very traditional thing. I know that, you know, it's been around for years and it's a way to, you know, either celebrate a loved one or honor a loved one who has passed on. But the reality is, is that they do not make it to heaven. They come back down. They get stuck in animals in the air like birds. They get stuck on birds. They get stuck on power lines and they could catch on fire. They go into our oceans. They wrap themselves around fish and turtles and all of our sea life. And onto the ground as well. I've seen, I, I'm just gonna post mm, the Facebook post that I saw. Um, you know, cows get stuck, they get choked, they choke on the balloon. It's just really not good for our environment. I know that it is a, like I said, traditional way to honor somebody that we love that we might have lost, but it is not good for our environment. And we are literally killing more animals than needed 
because we're releasing these balloons. Like it says on, on this screenshot, plant a tree to honor your loved one or find more accessible, eco-friendly ways to celebrate or honor your loved one. I understand that the balloons releasing is easy, it's accessible. You can just go to HEB and buy some balloons and then just release them up into the air and then you forget about it. I would appreciate if the people who are following me listening to me, taking it to what I say into consideration. Share this with your loved ones. You don't have to be rude about it. You don't have to say, oh, you're killing our planet. Like, what are you doing? But I think that the reason why we tend to go around and around in these cycles is because we don't have the correct information. They don't have extra resources. They don't hear different ways that we could honor or celebrate while making our planet a better planet. Same thing goes for like uh, gender reveals. I think it was in California where they did a gender reveal and they ended up catching a whole bunch of stuff on fire i don't think people understand the full extent of what your actions what your choices do cause an effect to our planet i think that we are very short-minded when it comes to things like balloon releases gender reveals things like that we're so in the moment of like celebration that we don't realize we don't really see the effect that we are making on our planet by by using resources that are not renewable not recyclable they don't um, degrade and they're just stuck there so i'm going off on a little bit of a tangent there but i really wanted to talk about that because i even in my personal life you know i i see a lot of my friends a lot of people that have been in my life in and out for many years that they do that they constantly do it and i don't want to come off as a by saying what you're doing is wrong but I'm gonna get off my soapbox with that. I hope I gave y'all some information. If you learned anything, please uh, like, comment, subscribe, share it to your mama, to your homeboy, um, to your baby mama, I don't know. Uh, send it to anybody that you could send it to, please. I need all the support I can get. Um, it's really just for our planet, you know? We only have one. We only have um, really one opportunity to save what we've already messed up. And we can't all do it alone, but Every single person doing something, doing a little something, can make everything eventually a lot better. So don't give up hope. You know, I know that the being green and being sustainable and being, you know, recyclable and whatever is like the trend right now. Don't let that trend die, okay? That's it for me. Uh, I hope y'all have a wonderful day, week, month, rest of the year. And thank you so much for watching these videos. And until next time, I'll see ya. Bye.